Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a yoga for cyclists class for you. This does not necessarily mean you have to be a cyclist, but the poses are designed for people who cycle. So we've got lots of tight quad releases, hip releases, back and shoulder openers. So this is gonna be perfect to do post ride or maybe the next day. Um, so that's it, just grab your mat, grab some water, and we will get stretching. Okay guys, we're gonna start our class sitting in our thunderbolt pose at the end of our mats. So if you sit down onto your shins, you can always sit onto a cushion or put blocks underneath if this is a little intense, but we're just gonna start here for some nice deep breaths. So let your hands rest onto the tops of the thighs. Let your eyes close, and we're just connecting to our breath here. This is what makes it a yoga practice and not just stretching is that we're completely present with our body, with the sensations that arise, with the thoughts in the mind, and we're connected to the breath. Otherwise, we're just stretching. So start to lengthen your spine on your inhale. Start to relax your face, relax your shoulders on your exhale. Keep following that breath up and down the spine and just check in with your body. Scan it from the crown of the head down to the toes. Notice any areas of tightness or tension, any aches or pains, and don't judge the body. Just simply take this time to be aware. Send your body the awareness that it deserves. Keep that breath flowing up and down the spine three more times, lengthening and then relaxing on your exhale. And slowly on your next exhale, just hinging forward from your hips. Keep your thighs and your knees together. And just see if you can take your forehead down to the mat. You might have to rest it onto a block, it might hover. Then one at a time, those arms walk out in front. Start to walk those fingertips away, finding length through the spine. And just hold here for three big breaths in and out of the belly. So getting a nice stretch into the shoulders, the upper back, into the front of your hip flexors. Then your next inhale gently rolls you up through the spine. From here we're going to stretch out the front of the quads. So just take it easy on this one. We're going to keep the chin tucked to the chest and start to walk the hands back. You can stop here. If that's enough, I just want you to feel a stretch into the front of your quads. You might be able to come down further, so you might be able to come all the way down to your forearms. Taking your time, you might want to hold your feet. And notice how the knees will want to lift. You want to keep your knees down on the mat, neutral through the spine. So try and keep your lower back nice and flat. Keep drawing your belly button back to the spine. Try not to arch into that lower back. Good. Take a few nice deep breaths here. You keep drawing your knees down towards the mat. Keep breathing. Slowly make your way back up and come all the way forward into your tabletop position, knees underneath your hips. Hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, belly drops and your chest opens. And we start to warm up the spine. Exhale, spine rounds, chin to the chest, tailbone tucks underneath. Two more, inhale, belly drops, chest opens. Exhale, spine rounds. Inhale, belly drops, chest opens. Exhale, spine rounds. Coming into neutral spine on your next inhale, right arm reaches to the sky, let your gaze follow. On your exhale, thread your needle, right arm underneath your left arm, drop all the way down to your shoulder and to the side of the head. So from here, maybe left arm extends, maybe left arm comes around the back for a bind. Focus on getting that nice deep stretch all the way across your upper back. And you're still breathing in and out of the belly. And 
Slowly release left hand underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, come all the way back, reach your right arm up. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Switching sides, inhale, left arm lifts, opening up the chest. And exhale, left arm underneath your right arm. Maybe from here, right arm extends. Or you take that bind around the back, opening into your shoulder. Keep your hips nice and square. They might want to sink towards the side. And keep that breath flowing. Keep all of your awareness focused on your body. Gently to release, right hand underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale all the way back to your tabletop. On your next inhale, your right leg extends, flexing into the foot. Just pausing here and then bending into your right knee. You're sending the sole of your right foot up towards the ceiling. Okay, keep your balance here. We're gonna try and reach back with your left arm. So we want to eventually catch the right foot with the left hand. And we're not taking this into a back bend, instead we're drawing that right heel as close as we can in towards the glute to try and get that nice stretch all the way through the front of the quad. And maybe you feel a little opening up into your shoulder here. Fix your gaze to one point on your mat to keep your balance. Two more breaths. And then gently release. Switch sides, inhale, left leg extends, flexing into your left foot, bend into the knees and the sole of your foot to the ceiling. Take your time to reach back with that right hand, see if you can find the front of that left ankle. This is where straps might come in handy. And you're drawing your left heel towards your glute. Keep your core braced, protecting that lower back. Bracing all of the little wobbles going on, your body will be working quite hard to keep you nice and still here. And then gently releasing all the way down. One more pose, we're gonna extend the arms, take it into puppy pose, so a great pose to open up your shoulders and your upper back. Walk your hands forward, keep your hips stacked over your knees, elbows straight, so just the palms rest, and then draw your forehead down. Take some nice deep breaths into the upper back and into your shoulders. If you'd like a deeper stretch, lift your forehead up and draw your chin down. With each exhale, just allowing your chest, allow your upper body to melt towards the mat. And slowly on your next inhale, lifting into the chest, walk your hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes underneath, inhale. And on your exhale, extend all the way back into your downward facing dog. Take some nice deep breaths here and maybe you want to start walking out your dog. Notice how your hamstrings feel, letting your hips move from side to side. and sending your gaze towards the hands. Just start to make your way up to the top of the mat. See how long you can keep your feet down as you walk them up towards, or see how long you can keep your hands down as you walk your feet towards your hands. You might have to lift onto your fingertips. Your hands might have to come off. So we're gonna meet at the top of the mat in a rag doll. So keep a nice soft bend into your knees, your feet a hips distance apart. Find your elbows and let the crown of your head drop. Just take a nice sway from side to side. Let your head be nice and heavy. Finding another deep release into the backs of those legs. Hands come to the shins. 
Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine, draw your shoulder blades together, roll the shoulders back and down. And bending into your knees, step back with your right foot, lower your right knee all the way down to the mat. And we're coming into low lunge. Inhale, draw your hands up to your hip crease and lift out of your hip crease. Sometimes it's tempting to stay resting in it, but we want to focus on that stretch into your hip flexor, into the front of the quad. So your right hand's gonna stay on your right hip. Your left fingertips are gonna draw down towards the left side of the mat. If you find them touching the floor, then you probably need to lift a little higher up. So you're either just staying here, or if you would like to find a deeper stretch, inhale, your right arm comes up and over, and you're reaching over towards the left side. So you should feel that stretch now coming all the way through the side of the body. Keep drawing those hips forward, tucking that tailbone underneath. You've got three more breaths. Slowly release all the way down. Both hands are gonna to come to the inside of your left leg. So start to walk your left foot to the edge of the mat so we're in our lizard pose. Take a few nice deep breaths here. See if you can start to come onto the edge of your left foot as your left knee starts to drop out to the side. Starting to move that stretch round into your outer hip and into your glutes. Keep breathing here and holding. So you have an option to stay here or we're gonna take a quad stretch. This is one of my favorite poses to do. Reaching your left arm back, finding your right foot. This might not happen, you might have to use a strap or you might just want to draw your heel in and use the strength of your leg here. And you should still find that stretch into your quad. Wherever you are, you're holding, you're finding acceptance for whatever your body is in this pose and you're breathing. If you'd like to take it one step further, feel free to come down to your right forearm. Get a little bit more of an intense stretch through the quad through that hip flexor. And then slowly releasing, bringing the hands back down. Just start to heel toe that left foot back to the center of the mat, hands frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes underneath so you're lifting up the knee. Right foot meets the left foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen the spine. Open the chest, hands to the shins. Exhale, hands come round the backs of the legs, a little bend into the knees. You're in a forward fold. Use those arms to just draw your body in. Find a nice stretch through the backs of those legs. And we'll switch sides. Hands come back to the shins, inhale halfway, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Fingertips come down, step back with your left foot, lower your left knee all the way down. Inhale, draws you up and out of your hip crease. Hands on the hips. So if this is enough, you're staying here, or you're going to keep your left hand on your hip and you're gonna draw your right fingertips down. Sending all of your awareness through the left hip flexor through the side of the body. If you'd like to take it one step further, left arm floats up and over. Keep drawing your hips back, but pressing them forward so you're not resting into the hip crease. You're lifted, but still guiding the hips towards the front of the mat. Well done, keep breathing. Two more breaths here, stay with that stretch. Then on your exhale, release both hands, come to the inside of your right foot. Heel toe your right foot to the edge of the mat so you're back into your lizard. From here, maybe you're coming onto the outer edge of your right foot as your knee opens to the side. So that stretch should move all the way around into your outer hip. Lots of options you can hold here. Our right arm starts to reach back, so you're spinning open the chest, you're reaching for that left foot if you can find it. Maybe you hold the bottom of your trousers, maybe you use a strap, or you can just use the strength of your left leg to draw the left heel in. 
got a few more breaths here. Maybe you're drawing down to your left forearm. Slowly release, take both hands back to the inside of your right foot and then heel toe it all the way to the center. Left toes tuck underneath, lift up your knee, step back to the top of the mat, inhale halfway lengthen through the spine, open the chest. Last time, exhale forward fold, use your arms to hug your body in towards those legs. Inhale halfway, lengthen through the spine, open the chest. Hands down, step back to your high plank. We're gonna lower all the way down to our bellies and our exhale, elbows brush past the sides, come all the way down. Release the tops of the feet. You're going to take your left forearm across the top of the mat, rest your forehead down and then reach back with your right hand. See if you can find the front of your right ankle. And from here, we're gonna find a nice stretch into the front of the quad. So if you don't feel a stretch by drawing in your ankle, then gently press your hips and your pelvis into the mat and feel like you're trying to pull that thigh off the floor. But you're probably not pulling it off the floor. We're just sort of working with that movement of pressing down but lifting up, just to take that arch out of the lower back. Take a few nice deep breaths here. Feel that belly rising and falling into the mat. And gently releasing your ankle, but keeping a bend into your right knee, we're gonna come into a broken wing. So you're going to open your left arm out to the side, keeping a bend into the elbow. So your left elbow is in line with your left shoulder. Your right hand can stay underneath your right shoulder. And then you're gonna step this right leg all the way over your left leg. Come on to the left side of your head. So you just feel a stretch all the way through the front of the chest and the left shoulder. So we start to open up the back. Your right knee is pointing up towards the sky. Listening to your body here. And playing around with the left hand. Maybe you want to draw your arm a little further up but we're focusing on that stretch right into the chest, right into the shoulder. Take some nice deep breaths here. Slowly come all the way back to center. Now from here we're switching sides. So right forearm comes across, rest your forehead down. Left arm reaches back to find the front of your left ankle. Gently press your hips, your pelvis into the mat and trying to lift that thigh off the floor. Doing this until you feel that stretch into the front of your quad. Breathing with the abdominal breath, staying with this stretch. And gently release and keep that left knee bent. Then open up your right arm to the side. Or you're taking your right elbow in line with your right shoulder and your left hand underneath your left shoulder. And you're stepping your left foot over, coming onto the side of your body, the side of the head. This is where you can play around with reaching that right arm up a little bit higher. Notice how the stretch might change into the shoulder. And you're breathing here, breathing to any tightness through the chest, through the shoulder. Just finding what feels good in your body here. Now 
then slowly come all the way back to center. Hands underneath the shoulders, round to your child's pose. This time you're gonna open your knees all the way to the edges of the mat. Sit your hips down towards the heels. Let your arms reach forward, forehead to the mat. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale, come back forward to your tabletop position. We're gonna come into our deer pose. So do our left side first. Draw your left knee up towards your left wrist. And then you're extending your left foot forward and you're sitting all the way down to your left glute. Hopefully that made sense. We're basically making an S shape with the legs. So you want your left shin parallel to the top of the mat so you create that big S shape with the legs. And I like to use my hand underneath the heel just to stop the foot sliding down. But you can just stay upon your hands if that stretch is enough. You should feel it into the left glute. Maybe you can fold all the way down, take your forehead to the forearms. And you're breathing here into any tightness, into any discomfort, as long as there's no pain into your knee. And add flex into that left foot just to protect the muscles around the knee. So draw your toes back towards your knee and press your heel forwards. Take some nice deep abdominal breaths here and just give your body a little bit of time to release, to get used to this pose. Slowly on your next inhale, draw all the way up. And just bring that right leg forward with switching sides. So swing your left leg round, creating a backwards S shape this time. So that right shin wants to be parallel to the top of the mat. Left hand is maybe coming underneath that right heel, drawing your body all the way down. Flexing into your right foot. Notice how that stretch feels into that right outer hip. Take some nice deep breaths here. Slowly drawing all the way up on your inhale. And let's just come to seated, crossing your legs. Just crossing your legs, finding a little stretch into the neck to finish. So keep your hands onto your knees. Inhale, find length through the spine. As you exhale, draw your left ear down to your left shoulder. Maybe you're slightly leaning towards that left side. As you exhale, roll your chin all the way along the chest. Inhale, draw your right ear above your right shoulder. Maybe you lean in towards that right side. Draw your head all the way back to center. Exhale, round into your upper back. So keep your arms straight. Lean all the way back. Draw your chin to the chest and spread your shoulder blades away from each other. Take a few nice deep breaths here. Then keep your hands onto the fronts of your knees. Bend into your elbows, draw your elbows into the sides of your body and squeeze your chest forward. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're trying to pull your chest through your arms. Take some nice deep breaths into the upper back. And release, big inhale, bring your palms together over the head. And then exhale, release them all the way down. Getting into the fronts of those shoulders. Two more, inhale, draw up. Exhale, draw down. 
Last one, inhale, draw up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment to just thank yourself for taking this time out of your day to devote it to your body and to your mind. Bow your head to your heart. Namaste and happy cycling.